This is another podcast from Coburg Maths. In the, this podcast, we're going to be looking at sequences and series, and in particular, writing a long sum of numbers in sigma notation, where well, that long sum might be the arithmetic series of a sequence. So let's start off with the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The sum of that sequence or series or arithmetic series is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And using sigma notation, this could be represented as shown. Here's a key point, you might want to pause and have a look at this point now. So using this key point, let's have a look at this new series that we want to find the sum of. You might want to stop the clip now and just think about what pattern you can see before continuing on. You may have noticed that all these numbers are square numbers. Uh, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and so on, until we get 6 squared, which is equal to 36. So we can represent our sum as the sum of square numbers, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 and so on. And this can be rewritten as that sum using sigma notation, where k is a number from 1 to 6. Now we might want to write the sum of the following series in sigma notation. So we want to look for another pattern. This one isn't as clear as the previous one because we've got alternating positive and negative numbers. So we might want to look at the powers of odd and even numbers such as negative 1 and negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is a positive number so that number becomes positive a half. This is negative a third, positive a quarter and positive one hundredth. So the kth term if we were to generalise would be negative 1 to the power of k times 1 over k for all 100 terms. And we can rewrite this in sigma notation using this expression. Now, I want you to have a go at expressing the following in sigma notation, so you can pause each one and have a go at them. So you might want to pause this one now before moving on. The hint here is that we have alternating positive and negative numbers, so we might want to refer to the previous example. Here we have the difference of two numbers continually squared. Here are the solutions to those three problems that were given just then. You might want to have a look at these and maybe work backwards. If you can't quite see how to write these sums of series using sigma notation. And that's it. Thank you.